is another tabletop. If you are still shopping for a 380, you know that I have an ongoing test of 380 pocket pistols. I'm going to show you here the North American Arms, now owned by Car Arms, which makes this little pistol here a stable mate of the Car P380. Uh, if you are at all familiar with compact pistols uh, and the history, uh, you'll know probably of the C Camp 32 and its big brother, the C Camp 380, uh, which, you know, those things were like leprechaun pots of gold. You couldn't ever find them. They had almost a legendary black market status for years. Well, when the patent ran out on the C Camp, the LW C Camp 32, uh, North American Arms quickly started um, copying that design rather blatantly. Um, but as I understand, I guess legally, um, and they started producing just a clone of, of the C Camp. They improved it by putting in a standard magazine release in, in the American style location that we like right here at the rear of the trigger guard, whereas the original C Camp had it on the heel uh, in, in much more of a European style. They've also improved the design by putting actual sights on the gun. The C Camps didn't have that. Um, so that's a little bit of the history on where this North American Arms design comes from. Because it has a history, um, you know, it has something to work from. And what it has is quality, it has a good design, well executed uh, copy of that design. It's reliable and it's accurate. Uh, and those are all things that it gets from, from that heritage. And North American Arms makes several variations of this uh, in 32 caliber and in 380, and in practically the same size. So you might as well go with the 380. 380 is slightly bigger, slightly heavier, and we are talking about 380s. Out of the ones I've tested thus far in terms of my pocket pistol 380s, uh, first of all, this thing's heavy. If you plan on slipping this in your front pocket, uh, unlike some of the others that we've tested in this field where you slip them in your front pocket and you forget they're there you're gonna know this is in your front pocket this thing bangs around in your front pocket it is heavy um, unloaded it's coming in at 19 ounces that's heavy for something this size but the design is also very robust you know it's uh, it's sturdy it's durable it's it's tank tough in terms of you know big heavy-duty components in this thing, at least relative to its size. My complaint is the weight. My other complaint is the trigger on this thing. Um, I'm just not liking the trigger. It is a very long, very heavy trigger. I mean, you kind of get used to that, but uh, it's just not my favorite trigger. Now, the caveat that I've mentioned before is that you don't have to have great triggers on these little pocket 380s with the intended application that that's just simply not something that's necessary but I'm a bit of a trigger snob and, and, and I just don't like it um, so there you go so it's a double action only so you fire it cycles and then you're gonna have to reset the trigger which as you'll notice is all the way back out to where you started on this gun so not a great trigger but for its intended application I don't know that I can be too critical of that uh, so there you go, the North American Arms. If you are looking for a very sturdy uh, 380 pocket pistol, this might be an option for you. I hesitate to call it a pocket pistol because of its sheer weight. Although it does fit within size criteria, the weight maybe renders this more of a holstered weapon. Um, but it's robust, great quality, good sights. It's the standard three dot configuration that you would find on most full size and service type pistols. So. You know, if you don't mind the weight, this is a nice heavy-duty little 380 of good quality and construction. I can't knock it. Price point, uh, as I recall, is in the high 400s, uh, uh, but I don't remember exactly. Uh, you know, again, when I do gun reviews, they're not hyper-technical, uh, they're not hyper-critical. I let you know the basic price point where it falls in the market. I let you know pros, cons, at least the objective pros and cons, and then my subjective final assessment. This is a gun that I uh, did own. I don't own this sample, uh, but I've had one of these. I ended up, I, I love the pistol. It's a great design. It has a great history. It's accurate. It's durable. 
The reason I sold it is it didn't quite work for the application that I wanted to use it for, which was a front pocket, forget it's there, 380. And this doesn't do that. It does something else and it does it extremely well, but it doesn't do what I wanted. Uh, maybe it does exactly what you want, but that's my assessment on the North American Arms 380.